Hey guys, this is Michael with Conquer Chemistry. In this video, we'll be talking about how to convert from grams to moles. And I'll show you two ways to do this. First, the shortcut, and then the more correct way of doing it in case your teacher wants you guys to show all your work. And we'll work through a couple examples together so you get a hang of it by the end of this video. So the shortcut is just to know the equation that moles is equal to grams divided by the molar mass. So if you want to figure out the moles, all you have to do too is take the grams and then divide it by the molar mass. And then the more the more correct way of doing it is with dimensional analysis, which just means you're going to cancel units out. So say you're given some amount, some amount of grams, blank grams, and you're going to have to multiply that by a one mole over the molar mass on the bottom, which is going to the molar mass. <clears throat> and then when you do that, notice the grams cancel out and then you're left with your answers in moles. It'll make a lot more sense when we get into the examples. So for the examples, let's say we have 65 grams of iron, and we want to figure out how many moles of iron there are. And we're gonna do the, figure this out with both methods. So let's start off with the, the shortcut. For that, we just have to take the, gr the grams, and then we divide it by the molar mass, which is 55.845 grams per mole. <clears throat> and if you, you're having trouble figuring out molar mass, check out my molar mass videos. I go into detail about how to figure out the molar mass of anything step by step. Then when we do that, you get the number of moles, 1.16 moles of iron. Or if we take into account sig figs, since this only has two sig figs. Our final answer we have two fig sig figs, so it'll be 1.2 moles of iron. So just recap, all we did is take the grams and then we divided it by the molar mass. The other method using dimensional analysis, we're gonna have 65 grams of iron, which is this step. Then I'm gonna multiply it by one mole on top, and then the molar mass of iron on the bottom, which is 55. 0.845 grams of iron, and then notice I have grams, grams iron on the top, grams of iron on the bottom here, so they're going to cancel each other out, and then you're going to get 1.16, and then this unit, moles of iron, carries over, so we get 1.16 moles of iron. Great, let's go do another example. For the next example, we're going to convert 150 grams of iron oxide into moles. We'll go do the two methods again. So the first method, we're just going to take the grams, we're going to divide it by the molar mass. The molar mass of iron oxide is 159.69 grams per mole. So we put that into the calculator and we get 0 0.939 moles of iron oxide. Again, we take into account sig figs. This number only have two sig figs because ending zeros don't count. So that means our answer should be in two sig figs. So the answer should be 0.94 moles of iron oxide. Now let's do the same thing, but with dimensional analysis this time. We're going to start with 150 grams of the iron two oxide. Then we're going to multiply on the top. It's always going to be one mole of that compound or element, iron to iron oxide. And then the molar mass on the bottom, which is 159.69 grams of iron oxide. And then when you do that, the grams of iron oxide cancels each other out. So then you're left with the answer of 0.94 and then the units here carry over moles of iron oxide, 9.4. All right, one final example, and then I think you'll know exactly what how to do these problems. Last example, 471 grams of carbon dioxide. Shortcut, just take the grams, divide it by the molar mass. Molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44.01. And then that'll give us 10.7 moles of carbon dioxide. Start of three sig figs, so our answer should have three sig figs.
Then with the dimensional analysis method, start with 471 grams of carbon dioxide, multiply what unit should go on top. You're right, always one mole on top, and then the molar mass on the bottom, which is 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide. Then your grams of carbon dioxide are going to cancel each other out, so you're only left with moles of carbon dioxide. And your final answer, 10.7 moles of carbon dioxide. And that's it. It's just quick, quick recap. The shortcut, you just take your grams, you divide it by molar mass, and that'll give you moles. And then with the mention analysis, you start with the given, which is your grams of the compound or element. You're going to multiply by one mole of the compound or element on top, divided by the molar mass on the bottom, and then that'll give you the mole. That'll give you your answer. Hopefully this is helpful. If you want to take a look at the transcript or you want additional practice prompts, check out the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it to be helpful, make sure you like the video, subscribe, because throughout the semester, I'll be posting up a bunch of different videos that will help you conquer chemistry and do better in this class. Until next time.